Guess, guess, guess who got brands talking? Brandlive.co.za You're listening to our social tv.co.za newsfeed. My name is Sam Marshall. Our top stories, Motepe Foundation holds International Women's Summit and Namibia has recorded increases in dam levels. The Motepe Foundation Center for Gender Equality and Leadership is holding their fourth International Women's Day Summit. The summit is aligned to the center's goal of creating an equal, inclusive and sustainable world by empowering women and the youth. Under the theme Power to Influence, the summit will host three panel discussions. Redefining Power, the Leaders We Need, Leveraging Opportunities, Women and Youth Leading the 4IR, and Leading with Care, Mental Health in an Era of Uncertainty. Additional elements of the program include a fashion show, the second installment of the Shining Light Awards, and a live performance by a music duo, Mafikizolo. Namibia has recorded increases in the dam levels across the country as its neighbors in the Southern African Development Community, SADC region, face insecurity inspired by drought. The Namibian newspaper quoting the weekly dam level bulletin by Parastatal, the Namibia Water Corporation, Nam Water, said the improvement in water levels followed recent rain countrywide. Combined dam levels only showed a slight improvement despite rains in some parts of the country from 20.1% last week to 20.9% this week. Last year, water restrictions were enforced as the sparingly populated country sought to manage water provisions. Live streaming is expected to help boost business in the world's leading small commodities market in East China's Zhejiang province. Merchants at Yiwu International Trade Market will be trading next week via live streaming on China's e-commerce platform Taobao amid the novel coronavirus outbreak. Selling goods through Taobao live streaming has become a trendy practice. At present, more than 3,000 merchants at the market have begun selling their commodities through live streaming to customers from around the world. And finally, IKEA Furniture's use of renewable energy has seen a drop in carbon emissions throughout the full value chain for the first time last year. From the production of raw materials and products through to customers' use and disposal, emissions shrank 4.3% in the fiscal year to the end of August 2019 to 24.9 million tons CO2 equivalents. The world's biggest furniture brand's retail sales grew 6.5% to 41 billion euros. Recapping our top story, Motsepe Foundation holds International Women's Summit. For more stories like these, go to www.social-tv.co.za, subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on our social mediums.